Good evening. Dolores, if you could call the meeting to order. Sure. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to the uh, evening meeting, and we will convene the organizational meeting of the Weathersfield Town Council. And we, uh, the meeting is to, uh, held to be he administer the open box to the new council members to elect and to elect chairperson and vice chairperson of the town council. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Missouri Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Father Moran. Good evening, everyone, and certainly all members of the council. Very pleased to be here. Many of many of you know are members of our parish, so I'm very proud of that fact, and I'm very pleased to be here uh, to join with you in this inauguration tonight. Let us pray. As we gather this evening for the inauguration of our new town council, we ask our gracious God to bestow on them wisdom and foresight as they make decisions affecting the welfare of our citizens. Arouse in their hearts and in the hearts of all who call God Father, a hunger and thirst for justice, peace, and charity. May their efforts contribute to the building of community which fosters peace in our hearts, our families, and our nation. With the support of all our citizens, may they lead us to be a community which uplifts all, especially the most vulnerable and marginalized. With gratitude for their service and dedication, we confidently ask for your guidance and protection. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. So um, tonight, of course, is a ceremonial night. Uh, we have a full house with family and friends of those who have served and are departing and those that are continuing on as well as our new members of our council. So it's a special night for any and all of those groups. Um, I have sort of two tasks that I want to take care of um, and they are recognizing two departing members of the council um, the first is is Donna Hemmen uh, I will do a wholly inadequate job Donna on this because uh, your service to the community covering decades uh, can't adequately be thanked uh, I, I, I sort of personally view you as uh, Mrs. Weathersfield and now grandmother Weathersfield I think but um, no one has loved this community more than you no one has served it with greater pride and greater uh, conscientiousness. Um, I was fortunate to be at the council dais when you were mayor for two terms and always admired your, your dedication and your love for Weathersfield and always felt it was a pleasure to serve with you as a colleague on both sides. So I know you're a great mother. I know that you're a great grandmother, a uh, great wife to Mark, who's here tonight, beaming over there. Um, he says that he's not expecting to have you back on Monday nights. I'm not sure what that means, but um, <laughs> perhaps you have other plans. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, when you think about people who serve the community and the, the dedicated hours and the, the countless uh, meetings and challenges, um, it, it can't almost be appreciated as much. But having served as mayor alongside you, uh, I think I have a much greater appreciation of your great work. And uh, I, I consider you a dear friend, somebody I can trust, and felt that way when I took over f four years ago from trying to fill your shoes, which I, I didn't even attempt to do. So I um, care about you a great deal, and I'm sure our council feels that way as well. God bless you. And Thank you for your kind it. words, Paul. Twenty-two years down or so, a plaque is really so inadequate. But um, I know on behalf of a, a dedicated community who cares about you and loves you, when they'll see you in town, they'll express it much better than a plaque. Even I can. So God bless. Thank, Thank you. you.
And my second task is to acknowledge and recognize Steve Barry. Uh, Steve Barry has been a terrific deputy mayor. He's been a great friend, a great colleague. Um, someone that I've turned to so many times for thoughts and in input and ideas uh, and corrections <laughs> and, and getting me on track. But um, again, Steve and I have known each other a long time. I've known his family a long time. Both uh, Steve and I lost our dads in the last uh, five or six years and shared that, that pain together. But I think uh, both of our dads were great mentors to us. And uh, we shared, uh, hopefully, uh, the goals as, as uh, leaders of this community of emulating what both of our dads wanted us to do. I think we made them proud. I know and, we did. And, uh, and again, you know, to have somebody of Steve's caliber and confidence and quiet competence, uh, it, was, it was an absolute joy to, to sit side by side over the last four years with him as my deputy. So, and he's just a, a great person. I know his wife and kids are very excited to get him back. Uh, and I'm sure his list is waiting and ready. Uh, I know he's been involved with so many things in sports and has taken uh, the opportunity to serve our community well, but I think he's, he's making a great choice for himself to do the things he wants to do the next few years, and I think maybe we'll see him again at some point in the future. But as a friend and a colleague, I uh, dearly love you, Steve, and I, I think our whole council uh, shares the gratitude for your incredible service to Weathersfield. Uh, thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you. Paul, I get to uh, return, return the kind words. <laughs> okay. um, I don't know where to start. Um, on behalf of our community, um, your commitment to this town is unmatched. Um, nearly 12 years on the council, serving as a counselor, as a, a deputy mayor, and then the mayor for the past four years. Um, uh, you have shown true, true commitment to our community, having served on the Economic Development Commission prior to that um, as well. Um, you mentioned our dads. I know both of us, that's been our guiding, uh, uh, guiding inspiration. Uh, it's what led us to public service, and, uh, and I hope others can follow that, including, uh, including my own kids and, and others who want to get involved. It truly is a worthwhile a worthwhile cause and, and, and what we get from it is far greater than uh, the effort that we have to put in. So I know you feel that way um, and I certainly uh, feel that way too. Um, you not only are a committed public servant, but you as well um, as Donna. Um, great father, a great family man. I know you're committed to your two daughters, to Julie, to your parents, to your sister, to her children and their children, and, and I see it all the time throughout the community. It has been an absolute privilege to serve alongside of you, uh, but most of all, it's been a privilege to, to truly uh, uh, be your friend. And I am, on behalf of the entire town, I'd like to thank you for your years of service and your absolutely uh, for setting the bar for what it means to be a mayor. I'm sure the new council and the new mayor will be up to the challenge, but you have set a bar that will be hard to beat. So thank you. Thank you. Before we adjourn, on behalf of the entire staff of the town, I, I cannot express the thanks to which I hold this council. Um, you have been supportive of the staff through what has been the most challenging budget times in recent memories, but yet you always made sure we move forward as a town and that the staff had what we needed 
to move the town forward in the direction you so chose. So on behalf of the entire staff, thank you very much to all of you. We, we appreciate it. Thanks, Jeff. As usual, I'm gonna go out with a bang. Um, 22 years is a long time to serve one's community, and I'd like to put it in perspective a little bit for you. When I started serving, my children, our children, were eight and 10. They're 35 and 38 today. And we have three grandchildren, 10, almost 10, right? Just a couple weeks and then she'll be 10. Three years old, that's Kaden. Hi, Kaden. Kaden. Say hi. Say hi, Grandma. <laughs> and Aubrey, who's six weeks. So, and I'm happy to have my children are here. There's never been a time that budget has never been an issue. And I'm sure Mr. Cassio can tell you that in the early 90s, he and I were on the Board of Education together, and we had to cut $1.9 million. It was not an easy task, and we were line by line by line. And when I say that, we were in subscriptions, dues and subscriptions, changing magazine subscriptions. And you have to understand, technology is not quite <coughs> where it was back in the early 90s. So we were still using a lot of textbooks versus digital media. So budget has always been an issue. I worked full-time, part-time during my tenure on both board and council um, at Newington Children's Hospital as a school nurse supervisor in Southington and also at Aetna for 20 years, and I just recently retired. I got my BSN while um, working and serving the town, my MBA um, along that time. I moved from the Board of Ed to the Town Council at one point, and I served as your mayor for four years. Everyone that I've served with has been wonderful to work with. We've had some lively discussions. We haven't always agreed, but we always moved forward and tried to do what was best for the town. And I thank everyone, both present and past, for all of that work. I'd like to thank my husband of 39 and a half years for his support. Um, Mark has enjoyed his Monday nights being free, so watch out. <laughs> That's over. We can see. And to my family, my children are here, Mark Jr., Suzanne, and her husband, Sean, my grandchildren. Um, my brother um, has also been very supportive, and his wife, Marianne, my sister in Vermont, and those people, those people, my, my family, we've had some Monday night quarterbacking, some lively discussions at family gatherings. Um, that's always been really good experience, though. I just want to share a little bit. My great-grandfather served as mayor of Boston in 1901. So I kind of followed in those footsteps. Um, I know my grandparents, both um, sides and that my mom would have been very proud of me and I know my dad is proud of me he's 87 and he lives with my brother I won't take much more of your time but I'd like to thank the community for their support and trust over all of these many years and also to our town staff for the same they've worked hard throughout many different councils and boards of education and I appreciate their focus and diligence. Special thanks to this council, who I'm going to miss quite a lot. We provided um, a lot of good for the town, and I'm gonna miss providing that historical perspective that goes back just a couple years. So on to the next chapter. Thank you so much for all your support. Those who know me, uh, I, I tend to be brief, and I'm going to do the same again. I know this is a night of celebration for the new council, but I do want to thank the, the people of the town for putting their trust um, in me. As I said, my dad uh, was certainly my inspiration for getting involved. Uh, he had served 
uh, many years ago when he was a young man, uh, when I was probably an infant, <laughs> that age right there. Uh, um, and, uh, and, and it was truly an inspiration to me. Uh, he was mayor back, uh, uh, the first Democratic mayor of uh, the town. And, and he was proud of that, and I'm, I'm proud of that as well. Um, the, uh, uh, when I ran for office, one of the things I wanted to, to do was to, to, to maintain and restore a level of professionalism to politics, to this, to this body. And, and I think um, uh, we have done that in, in my time here. I'm proud of, proud of that work. I'm proud of the work of the, of the high school um, being completed. Um, uh, I had been on the building committee before that, so that's uh, an issue that I'm particularly proud of. But I would like to say again, in the tenor of, of professionalism and keeping things honorable in this day and age when things tend to not be so honorable at times in politics. It is a noble cause. It's, uh, uh, I know everyone on this dais comes at it from the right perspective, and, and, and we have had that. I've enjoyed my working relationship with all of you, each one of you, both sides of the aisle. And again, there have been times we've disagreed, but I have never questioned that everyone up here is not doing what they do with the best of intentions. And I wish everyone luck in the future, and I hope you continue to do that. So thank you all, and thank you in the community for, for entrusting me the last four years. Thank you. Okay, um, just a quick thanks uh, to everybody uh, before we depart and let our new counselors come up and get sworn in. Um, I've shared this story a few times. I think um, most of you are probably aware that a big motivation for me over the last uh, 10, 12 years was to pay back this community for its service to my family. Um, most of you know the story. Um, I don't think I've quite done that, but at least I made a big dent in it. Uh, over the last uh, 12 years or so between uh, the contributions uh, of the full council and the stuff that, I, that hopefully I've done on behalf of Weathersfield. Um, I'm proud to have served with this council, uh, both sides, uh, both members of uh, the Republican and the Democratic Party have worked very hard together, I think, over the last four years and pre previous to that as well when I served in the minority party. Um, I think this is a great town, and I think we all come from the same perspective of loving Weathersfield and wanting to make it better. Uh, I hope that we've done that. I think I remember four years ago saying the primary goal is do no harm, and, and hopefully we haven't done that. I think we've made it a little bit better, and I think we've done that unilaterally in, in a bipartisan way. So uh, I thank you for the honor of having served as your mayor for four years, and uh, I'm sure uh, what's ahead is going to be just as positive for this community. Thank you so much for that honor. Appreciate it. to your new council and as I call your name if you could come up in the front and we will do the swearing in up here. Amy Bella, Amy Warren Bello, Mary Breton, Matthew Forrest, Mike Hurley, Jody Latina, Ken Lesser, Tony Martino, Michael Rell, and Anthony Spinella. you can please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I swear or su sincerely affirm as the case may be that I will faithfully support the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the State of Connecticut so, as lo so long as I continue a citizen thereof
as a member of the Weathersfield Town Council, to the best of my ability, so help me God, or upon penalty of perjury. Congratulations. I'll do it. Next order of business will be to a selection by this council of chairperson who un under the charter is also called mayor, and I will accept nominations. Um, I would like to first thank everybody for coming out. What a great crowd. It's great to see so many people here, and this is great to see the families and all the support, and it's really like a lesson in democracy. So it is my honor tonight to nominate Amy Morin Bello as the next mayor of Wethersfield. You know, about six years ago, we moved to town, and Amy and Rich and their family were one of the first to welcome us to Wethersfield, and they welcomed us very warmly. They invited us to a party at their house, and our families quickly became friends. We each have three daughters, and over the last several years, we've traveled extensively together. And those travels have been great and a lot of fun. But it's not where all the places where Amy's been and where she's going that's important tonight. It's where she's from. And where she's from is right here in Wethersfield. She has deep roots in this community. She's a Wethersfieldian through and through. She has a wonderful family, husband Rich. Three daughters are here, Lily, Sarah, Catherine, I can't see Catherine, but she's hiding. <laughs> June and John, I'm gonna forget Mercedes, Javier. I'm, I'm gonna stop because the whole family's here and I don't wanna forget someone, but it's a beautiful, <laughs> wonderful family. Again, Amy's deep roots here uh, will make her a great mayor. And I wanna say a couple other things that will also make her a great mayor. Amy is a results-oriented person. She gets things done. She's always, always trying to do her best and she puts her heart into everything she does. And it's that heart, it's a heart of gold. She's a great friend, she's a great person, and she'll make a great mayor. So I formally nominate Amy Morin Bell to be the 21st mayor of Wethersfield, Connecticut. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to second um, the nomination for Amy Morin Bello for mayor. Uh, I've known Amy from when our oldest children were in preschool, and now they're off to college. Um, and I've seen Amy through the years actively engaged in church, uh, in community civic duties, PTO, religious education, and a number of other community um, 
uh, activities. Um, she graduated from Providence College. Uh, she served as assistant town clerk. She's been on the council for two years. Um, and she served out on a number of committees. Um, she is the mom to three great, great kids, and um, she and her husband have done a wonderful job raising those children. You're really proud. Um, the last few months, I've gotten to know Amy even better as we're campaigning, and it really confirmed to me the things I already knew about Amy, um, that in addition to being a great mom, friend, neighbor, and Wethersfield resident, she's smart, she's dedicated, She's strong, she's authentic, she <clears throat> listens, um, and she gets things done. And um, I, I think um, and I know that she's going to be a great leader, um, and she has been a tremendous inspiration to me. So thank you, Amy. Um, I have no, no doubt that Wethersfield will benefit greatly, so it is my, my honor to nominate her for mayor. Are there any additional nominations? Hearing none, I declare the nominations closed and we'll have a roll call vote. Councillor Brenton? Yes. Councillor Forrest? Yes. Councillor Hurley? Yes. Councillor Latina? Yes. Councillor Lesser? Yes. Councillor Rell? Yes. Councillor Spinella? Yes. Deputy uh, Councillor Martino? <laughs> yes. And Mayor great. Bella? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I am so honored to be serving the town of Wethersfield, and I look forward to collaborating with this great team that I have up here with me. Um, I'd like to thank Councillor Lester for the nomination, and Councillor Breton for the second, and all councillors for voting me in as mayor of the town of Wethersfield. Um, my family and friends have been a tremendous support and have encouraged me throughout the entire election season. Um, it's, it's been a long, long, hard um, road, uh, along with the Democratic Town Committee and the Wethersfield um, com uh, Community for the Resistance. We've worked hard and um, really campaigned hard, and I'm just so proud of all we've accomplished, and I want to thank all of you for your hard work along the way. Uh, I also want to thank all the voters of Wethersfield for entrusting me with this position and for voting me into office. Thank you. Over the next two years, um, I'd like the council to continue to support our Board of Education to make sure that every student in Wethersfield um, is able to receive a top-notch education so that they can go out to become productive members of society. I'd also like to find and implement more efficiencies in the way town government works. Our Shared Services Committee is doing a great job. We need to continue to work with them to find ways to save and to do business in a different way. Um, also, we're, we're making great strides with economic development, and we need to continue to engage our business community and to work with our town staff to continue to um, really plug, make plugs for Wethersfield. Um, it's a great community to live in and to work in, and we need to encourage other people to share that vision. Um, and finally, it's our responsibility to further reduce our environmental impact. And I am uh, I'm in support of an ordinance to prohibit fracking waste from town. I'd like to see the implementation of uh, LED, LED streetlights in town and to protect our trees that are on our town property. Um, so now is the time to put our politics aside and we have to work as a cohesive group for the betterment of the town and work for all citizens and all business owners. And um, I'm confident that we'll be successful and that we can do that over the next two years. So thank you. So now I have
have the honor of asking for a nomination for our deputy mayor and vice chairperson. It's my pleasure to uh, nominate Tony Martino to be deputy mayor of Wethersfield. Uh, Tony is a native of Hartford. Uh, he went to St. Anthony's Elementary School in Hartford, actually went there with my father. Uh, then attended South Catholic High School, graduated in 1965, was a classmate of Father Moran's while at South Catholic. Um, after that, he went to Central Connecticut State University. He's also a retired member of the Air Force. Uh, he's an active member of UNICO, active member of Incarnation Church. Um, he's been involved in the town council for many years. There is not a guy in this room who is more dedicated and involved in giving to the people of Wethersfield than Tony Martino. He has an unbelievably supportive wife and, and family here. Um, and I can sincerely tell you that I don't think Tony has a bad bone in his body. Um, there's very few people you can run across in your life where nobody has anything bad to say about them. And I've run across one in Tony Martino. So it's my pleasure to nominate Tony Martino as Deputy Mayor for Wethersfield. Second. Uh, Mayor Bello, if I might be so honored to <coughs> second the nomination of Councillor Spinella for the Deputy Mayorship for Tony Martino. I think it couldn't be better said that uh, by Councillor Spinella that Tony Martino does not have a bad bone in his body. The consummate professional, a gentleman who I've known for about 20 years, but before that it was with his son when I was in high school, so maybe we'll take a couple of those years away. <laughs> Uh, but more, more recently, the last six, or six to eight years where I've been on the Board of Education, had to work, not had to, but worked with uh, Mr. Martino and the, on educational issues and more importantly, even on the funding of the educational issues. And I haven't seen a more, met a more honorable person than Mr. Martino. So I know that your honor, your dignity, your uh, contribution to this town, whether it's through Unico, your recent t town council experience, and really just getting out into the community and helping out all people of Wethersfield will serve you well in this position. And it's with great pride and honor, I am more than happy to nominate you for the deputy mayor of this town. Dolores, will you make a roll call vote, please? Are there any nominations? Other nominations? Oh, excuse me. Oh. Are there any other nominations? If not, <laughs> Councillor Breton? Yes. Councillor Forrest? Yes. Councillor Hurley? Yes. Councillor Tina? Yes. Councillor Lesser? Yes. Councillor Rell? Yes. Councillor Spinella? Yes. Deputy Mayor Martino? Yes. And Mayor Hello. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I am humbled and honored to accept the position of Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Anthony and Matt, for your kind words. Thank you to the residents of the most ancient town in Connecticut for re-electing me to another term on council. I especially want to take my wife, Terry, my sons, Mike and Dan, Mike especially for going out and putting up signs for me and you know, plugging me with all his friends, Dan's girlfriend, Katie, uh, my cousin, Bill Tamillo, who couldn't be here, and all my friends for their support and encouragement in this campaign. My congratulations to my fellow town councilors for being elected to office, especially Amy Bello, our new mayor. With Amy as mayor and me as deputy mayor, Wethersfield has something unique probably no other town can claim. Your mayor and I are both former town employees. <laughs> I don't think any other town can say that. Uh, we will work together to uh, with our know-how, we'll work Wethersfield, see it, know how Wethersfield works, and we'll find efficiencies to reduce expenses. To my feather counsel, fellow counselors, I ask, we all got here through a political process. Well, when you enter the doors to these chambers, please leave your politics at the door, and let's do what's best for the citizens of Wethersfield. The night of the election, I was interviewed and asked if my priorities had changed and what my top priority be for the next two years. I said it would be the same, economic development. 
Back in the 1950s, our residents made the decision to keep this town a bedroom community and not a commercial hub. We can only reduce expenses so far and find so many efficiencies. We needed to find new sources of revenue. Those revenues will come by bringing more businesses to Wethersfield. By increasing our commercial base, we will lower our reliance on our residential property taxes, plus we will increase our revenues through the building fees through those processes. We have one speaker who occasionally comes to council meetings and advises us that 30% of our residents are seniors and on fixed income, and we continue to raise taxes and never think of the seniors. Well, I want to remind everybody, I am one of those seniors on a fixed income. Every decision I made, I not only think of the seniors, but also the young families starting out. I pledge to do my best to keep expenses down and to find efficiencies in government. I will also work with the Board of Education to do the same. I'm willing to meet with any resident at any time and listen to their ideas. Before closing, I would like to thank Mayor Paul Montaneri Deputy Mayor Barry and Councilor Donna Hemmen for your many years of service. I consider you all friends and appreciate you all you have done for the town of Wethersfield. Paul, we served together for four years and you considered me your chief of staff. We first met when you joined the council and became council liaison to the town hall building committee. Your energy has been limitless doing for our town. If I can do half of what you did, I will be happy. Steve, we were both elected to the council at the same time. I value the time we had spent together on various committees we served. I knew your dad and I know your dad would be proud of what you've accomplished. We made a good team. Donna, I really first got to know you when you went from the Board of Ed and joined the town council. I remember that first year, you were assigned as council liaison to the Capital Improvement Committee where I was staff liaison. And it was funny because you were skeptical because you thought that that group was anti-board. But during that first year, she learned that that group looks out for everybody and asks everybody the same questions. So we don't pick on one area, they picked on everybody. So I want to thank you for your many years of service. You've been an inspiration to all of us. There are many people I would like to help over the past four years that uh, are not here tonight or I'd be here all night talking about them all, but there are three people I especially want to thank for their guidance over the past years. They are the mayor, Dan Camilleri, Senator, aka Ambassador, Billy Sayota, and former Registrar of Voters, Carmen Pace. My association with these three gentlemen go back to the 1950s when they worked on my uncle's Senate campaign and were on the committee to put on his testimonial dinner when he left the Senate. They were the ones who provided me with the guidance of what I should and shouldn't do in government. They, I thank you all for your guidance. Many say I am quiet at council meeting. The reason is I learned many years ago from my uncle, be quiet and listen. He said you'll learn more from listening to people than from speaking. With that, I will end my speech. Again, thank you for your support. I'd like to now open the floor for council comments. Have a comment? Sure, Council Hurley. So I want to thank everybody that voted for me, and even those who don't didn't vote for me. Um, I want you to know I'll do the best for the town that I can, and I really just want to thank uh, Donna for her many years of service. Um, I served with her for eight years, and she gave up her dining room table with countless hours of us around it. Um, I know her whole family now because they every Sunday they probably were getting up from dinner and we were hustling in and having uh, many uh, discussions. And like she said, sometimes it was peaceable, sometimes it wasn't. And But we all got through it and we did it for the better of the town. And I just wanted to thank her for uh, all her leadership and guidance over the years. And I also want to thank uh, Steve and Paul for their service to the town. Um, it takes someone who truly, truly cares about the town to serve. Thank you. Any other comments? Sure. Um, first, I'd like to uh, echo the 
sentiments of uh, Councillor Hurley. Uh, I would like to uh, first thank Donna for her years of service. Uh, when I first uh, moved to Weathersfield, uh, a couple years after I moved to Weathersfield, Donna, you ran for state representative and I got to know you then. Um, your dedication to the town was evident at that point and uh, it had only grown since then um, in the time that I had known you. Uh, you served the town of Weathersfield unbelievably well. Um, I was at those Sunday evening tables as well and I do feel bad for your kids and, and Mark. We kind of booted you guys out but um, Sunday night football was on half the, half the time so um, Mark was happy. Um, to Steve and to Paul, I hate to say it, but I'm part of that group of, you know, guys up here who lost their fathers during um, the time that we served. And um, while, uh, unlike uh, Mayor Barry, um, my father, you know, of course he was a role model, but uh, um, I got my um, lessons in public service through my mom and not my dad. Um, but we do share in that, and uh, I'm sure he's looking down at you, um, smiling as well, and proud. Um, Paul, uh, I had a pleasure working with you. Um, you were the first councilman to <laughs> friend me on Facebook when I uh, um, served, and I didn't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing, but I, I definitely <laughs> accepted that friendship, and um, I appreciated uh, your guidance through some of the uh, transition in the beginning, as well as the... Uh, the calls and the uh, the emails to to get together and discuss before we uh, um, moved forward on any um, issues that we are dealing with on the council. Um, right now, I'd like to thank my wife, Maura, my two kids, <laughs> Madeline and Charlie. Um, they uh, they missed me at a number of meals uh, over uh, the past couple months out on the campaign trail. Uh, I miss them as well. Uh, I will um, always be grateful to them for their support for, uh, for allowing me to, to serve the town. Um, it does take a number of hours, days, weeks, and, and you know, grueling um, uh, time on, on family to, uh, to serve, and for that I am grateful. I would also like to uh, thank the uh, Weathersfield residents for again trusting me to uh, um, have their best interests in mind while up here um, on the council. Congratulations to those newly elected um, as well. Mayor Bellow, congratulations. Looking forward to, uh, to working with you. Um, and one thing I will say is I believe in honesty. Um, I believe in an honest, true, and transparent government. Uh, my word is my word, and I will give that to you every single time that I'm up here voting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Bello. I just wanted to say thank you to my son Luke and to Zoe and to their dad who's on the road tonight for all their support. Uh, it really is a pleasure to serve with everybody and I thank the voters of Weathersfield for having the confidence and the support uh, in voting for me. This is a wonderful town. Um, I really look forward to doing a lot of bipartisan things. I think that's what our town needs. I think that will help us continue to grow and to move forward. Um, I'm gonna miss Donna. She's been such a guiding force. My buddy next to me. I really do appreciate you paving the way for all of us ladies. Um, I know that my daughter and I talk a lot about leadership and it's important to see faces like yours and like Amy's and, and Mary. I think this is the first council I've been on where there's three ladies. It's an awesome feeling. So thank you very much, and um, to Paul and to Steve, thank you so much for your guidance over the last several years and your service to the town. <laughs> Councilor Spinella. Sure. I'd like to thank um, all the people who've supported me throughout the last two years and this last uh, election, specifically my parents who are here today, my wife Chanel, um, Billy Seattle and Paul Doyle um, also have been there um, advising me on, on politics as I'm kind of new to this whole process. Uh, what I would say to the, the new counselors and, and to anybody listening is, you know, 70% of the voters didn't even vote. 
Um, so we need to keep those people in mind uh, when we make any decision, not just the 30 percent who may have voted for us or against us, but most people didn't vote at all. Um, and I think what those people would tell you is that Wethersfield is a, a government that needs to concentrate on the core government functions. I've asked the town manager repeatedly, is this a system that can sustain itself? And the answer has every time been no. Um, this is not a system that can sustain itself. The state government has found that out, and now we're finding that out. Um, we need to concentrate on the core government functions, public safety, roads, education, um, getting more involved in shared services. Um, these type of things are the things we need to be thinking about over the next two years to keep our government headed in the right direction. Um, and I really think if you focus on those things and, and focus not only on the people who are in the room in front of you, but the people who aren't, the people who don't have kids in the school system and, and the, the senior citizens, as Tony was commenting on. I think if you keep all those people in your head every time you make a decision, uh, generally speaking, you'll make the right decision. Um, to Paul and, and Steve and Donna, I, I think the town owes you guys a, a huge debt of gratitude. It's an unbelievable commitment uh, to do what you've done. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Um, <laughs> but I can tell you that you would never do this if you didn't really care because it just takes an unbelievable amount of time. So regardless of the way you may think on a, a certain issue, um, I think we all know that you truly do care and want the best for the people of Wethersfield. So thank you for your service and thank you um, for having me on the town council again. Thank you. It goes without saying, and I, I think that we'll probably be coming slightly redundant here, but um, the thanks to everyone is tremendous. Whether, as, as many eloquent people have said before me, whether the vote was singularly placed maybe on my ballot or another person's ballot or it wasn't, um, the idea is that we are here for the entire town and we do represent the entire town. And I think that it's, of course, preeminent in all of our minds, as, as I've been said before. I'd be, I certainly would be without, I'd be remiss to mention that my wife right now is with our child that was making a little bit of a ruckus in the back there, and I've got the other one up here, so um, the thanks to the immediate, really fa immediate family members, my father's in the audience, or at least they think he was, but then my son ran out the door, so I'm not really sure. Um, but uh, without the support at home, the ability to donate the time to the town that we all care about would not happen. So to my immediate family, um, I thank you so much. Um, to the people of this town that have entrusted me with this particular seat, I thank you so much. And even if you didn't, I want to be able to earn that trust over the next two years. And with that, I think there are many other people that want to speak. So thank you very much. Yes, thanks. I, I'm honored and humbled to be sitting with this team. Um, this is a big responsibility, and I will definitely treat it as such. Um, I applaud all of those who have come before me um, and sat in these seats and kept this town as great as it is. Um, they help uh, set the stage for a great community. Um, this is a kind community, a lot of volunteers, a lot of people have a lot of uh, passion for the town, um, and you can feel that. Um, and I honestly believe that the local communities do set the moral and social fabric for the entire country, and we should be very proud of, of where we are. Um, my family and I have um, benefited greatly um, and um, from those who have served this town, and I'm just so honored to be part of this team and to help give back to the town. Um, I'd like to thank my husband for his support, um, my children who inspire me every day, um, my mom and dad who are not here anymore, um, but for their foundation of faith, family, hope um, that they gave to me and my uh, three older brothers, one of whom is in the back there, and <laughs> um, who is also a Wethersfield resident and was a great counsel to me um, when I decided that I wanted to do this. Um, he was very helpful, so thank you. Um, my friends, uh, my best friend Gloria over there who just, uh, we grew up, we knew each other six, uh, since we were six months old, grew up in West Hartford. She's here um, 
a great support to me. Um, I'd also like to thank um, the, the Weathersfield community for the resistance, this, this um, groundswell of support that we have received um, from you all who care about this town and, and care about the people in it. Um, and I'd also like to thank Amy and, and the whole team um, to, to welcome me and make me feel like um, you know, I could do this. So um, I just close by sharing one thing. Um, in going door to door, which was an entirely new experience to me, <laughs> um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It was actually um, a lot, a lot of fun um, to get to actually talk to people. Um, one of the most challenging th things that came up, though, was the um, the few people who looked me in the eye and said, "Why would you want to do that?" Um, <laughs> and you know, it it really uh, sort of gave me great resolve to to really dig deep and to to say, no, I do want to do this. And, and I think we all know the answer, those sitting here, is that you know, those things that are most difficult are often the most worthwhile. And this town is worth it. Um, so um, I am very excited to be part of this team, um, this impressive team, and to work together uh, to continue to make Weathersfield move forward. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor Bello. <clears throat> Again, thank you all for coming out tonight. I want to start by thanking my beautiful wife, Cindy, and my daughters who are here, Lauren and Allie, and my daughter, Rachel, who's away at school. Without our family support, we can't make our goals and dreams come true. And I really appreciate your support, and I'm sure you're happy to get me out of the house. So, so th <laughs> thank you for that. Um, also want to thank the voters of Weathersfield for putting their trust in me, I will work as hard as I possibly can. There's only one reason in my belief to go into politics, and that's to help people. And I'm gonna wake up every day with that thought in mind of how we help the people of Weathersfield. I wanna say to my fellow counselors, I've watched all eight of you uh, in action, and we are very lucky. This is a talented group, every single one of you, and I'm excited to work together with you, and I think we're gonna do great things on the council together. I already said my piece about Mayor Bellow, but I'm very excited about you as well. And Jeff, look forward to working with you and appreciate all you do for the, for the town as well. Let me kind of uh, finish up by, by saying this. This is an awesome responsibility. I take it very seriously. It's one of the great honors of my life, and I'll work hard every single day on behalf of you and all the residents of Weathersfield. Thank you so very much, very grateful, and uh, Look forward to doing a lot of good things for our town. Thank you. If there are no further uh, council comments, I'd like to ask Father Moran to please give the benediction. So one last word of thanks, and that's to Dolores Susano for the invitation to be here tonight and the privilege, really, to be part of this ceremony, and my congratulations to all of you as well. As we prepare now to set forth on a new year, may God bless us and instill in us a spirit of compassion and concern and respect for all. May our actions make this a reality that is evident to all in our community. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yes, if it, Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.